I'm hoping you make cream ice. Okay, cream ice. Okay. So what's the formula for cream ice? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Two, one. That's it. And it's three, a two, one. What? And it's a twelve quart machine. Yeah. So three quarts. Uh, uh, forty or fifty adult recipes, fifty or sixty regular recipes, plus the book, plus a workbook. My God, my head's gonna explode. So. Want me to rinse? No, you don't have to rinse. I got it here. What? I got it right if here. You, if you insist, rinse. How much will that? How much what? Will that yield? We'll see, won't we? <laughs> yes. Yes, we will. <laughs> three quarts, three quarts of water. It should yield twelve quarts of product. Now I brought these here, uh, brownies. They're, uh, these are brownies. I don't know what's. Oh, they smell good. And these are triple chocolate muffins. So we'll see, you know, we'll taste as we go. We'll see what we got. But I know that if we're starting three, two, one, can't miss, right? Can't miss. Now, it helps to think what you want it to taste like before you make it. And this being brownies and chocolate and stuff like that, it seems we're looking for a pretty chocolatey mess here, right? We haven't had a chocolatey thing today, have we? We have? Yeah. What do we have? The Nutella, but that's Nutella vanilla. Yeah, chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse. <laughs> go ahead and make the chocolate. I won't make them. No, go ahead. Huh? They look beautiful. Use them. Okay. Okay. Try your butt. Your best shit. <laughs> okay, you're good to go. All right, we're good to go. <laughs> oh, that's slippery. We are good to go. So the first thing we'll pour in is uh, now. Should we put the sugar in here? That kind of sugar you might want to bring it down. You're right. You know, you're right. The Domino's, no problem. Look at this. Look at this. Now watch. Watch this sugar. Look, clump. Clump, clump, bump, clump, 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 big clump, big clump. It's still my pull down. Yeah. So that's the sugar deal. Now, proof is in the pudding. You didn't see the dominoes do that. It poured like white snow. It's the journey. Okay, now this will go in. No. Dissolvability? No. Look at all this sugar sitting there, wasted. I'm not sure there's such a word as dissolvability. Dissolvability. Never heard it. And we'll add this. We'll turn it on first. We'll add this. Now we have our three, two, one in the machine. Sky's the limit. Did you just add sugar right into the machine? <laughs> no, I didn't do that this time. Uh, okay. I diluted it. Okay. I didn't think so. No, I would never do that. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> so we got our three, two, one in there. The sky's the limit. I could walk blindfolded over to those shelves and make cream ice now because that's it. I mean, I would never go blindfolded over here and add this oh. stuff. Oh, hey! His buddy. So, let's envision what we want. We have chocolate syrup. We have the rest of that. Not much in here, but it's the rest of what we used before, right? What happened? <laughs> it missed. Bounced out. So, we'll put this in. Jeff, is there a shelf life on that? On what? Uh, chocolate syrup. Once it's open, uh, no, actually there isn't. We keep uh, we keep no. it open. No, yeah. because I'm constantly, two months later, buying a new jar because it's been sitting on the shelf. That's okay. Yeah, just put them on the shelf. Market. Uh, uh. <laughs> I just don't want to eat it. <laughs> now these are brownie. Yes. Kind of winging it now, and you're going to add a little of this little. How will I repeat it? Yeah. I knew that was coming. Well, uh, you wing it again. It. 
Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. My friend just estimated that I've made 63,000 gallons of ice cream since I started this, since I sat in her chair over there. 63,000 gallons. You'll know what you're doing. We did yesterday, I wanted to show them how to create a recipe without experimenting in the machine, how to do it on the counter. And we learned how to do that. And that's great. You're all going to have to do that because you don't want to screw it up in the machine and then so there's no and then dump it out. But after a while, you'll be able to do it in the machine. You'll you'll feel the proportions. Duplicate this, I can duplicate it. And you'll be able to too. Remember, profit, art, and fun. So the fun part is yeah. is coming now along with the art part. Profit, you guys are eating it all. The basic is just three, two, one, and then it's whatever else you want to put in. It's three, two, one, and whatever else you want to make it. Yeah. This could have been strawberry, cherry, berry, cream ice. If we put the three, two, one in, got a pack of frozen triple berry, we did that. Yeah. We yeah. did that. We did that in class Monday morning, first thing. We did three, two, one. No, we made it Italian ices. We did six quarts of water, four pounds of sugar. Basic Italian ices. And then we bought, we, we had a bag of... Uh, Frozen berries. Berry, uh, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries in the bag. And we dumped it in. And then we, uh, that's it. Yeah. And that was Italian ices. That was his favorite thing that he had all both days, right? Unbelievable. And so, yeah. Basic recipe and then anything else. Now, if you want to translate that to ice cream, same thing. Let's say you have a 24 quart machine, 10 quarts of mix, 10 things of vanilla, ounces of vanilla, and then whatever you want to add. It's crazy. It's crazy. I almost feel guilty charging for my clat. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now we should add some vanilla also because I'm not paying for it. <laughs> we'll add five ounces. Five ounces. Yes. If you try your berry, what you just said with the berry, and you add egg down to that. Okay. That's, that's Speaking of eggnog, this Christmas I made, every year we make eggnog as a flavor. And I make a small batch because, you know, it's only seasonal. So I made the eggnog, and the girl said, is it, I said, is it selling? No, it isn't. Not selling. It had booze in it. You know, regular eggnog. So then we changed the sign. And instead of happy eggnog, we called it high octane eggnog boom boom they were buying it boom they're buying it high octane eggnog so if a flavor if you believe in it and it's not selling change the name that's all change the name all right let's add let's add some brownies now we have brownies and muffins and girls who bake is there any difference between brownie and muffin apparently there is What's the difference? More cakey. More cake-like. So. Well, let's start by adding some brownies anyway. And look at this, right in. Right in. You can't do that with any other machine. You can't. The opening is that big. You wouldn't get them in there to save your life. And they'll void your warranty. Is anybody counting? There you go. Jeff, do you believe this? Many people still say. Pretty good. Yeah. Say when. I know where this is heading. <laughs> <laughs> this you know, folks, 
This, folks, is my rainbow maker. Did you want to say something? No, go ahead. That's my rainbow maker. That's so you can take a tub, a two and a half or three gallon tub, which this is not, and this is a small version. Just goes right in. It is full size. And now you can divide the uh, tub up into three. So if you want to make Superman uh, Italian ice, you make lemon in one side, put it in the freezer. Start up making uh, cherry ice. Unload it into the second compartment, put it in the freezer. Make uh, blueberry ice, unload it, and then take this out and put it in the freezer. Now you've got three flavors, and you scoop around in a semicircular motion to get all three flavors. If you're using a... That's enough, uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> If you're using a gelato pan, we divide that into three so that you can have uh, three different flavors. You said you want one with two? I got one with two. There we go, the Great Divide. I thought it was a great name. My uh, vice president thought it up, then I found out that he uh, stole it from a large manufacturer of ice cream. There's your great divide for two flavors. They used to make, you can make this out of cardboard, but it attracts roaches, and you can only use it once. But this and all of these, uh, you know, will last for years. That's the only optional add? thing we sell. I wish we should, no, I'm saving those. I wish we should, uh, I wish we still had some Cherry something, you know? Some cherries. Paula's got some bourbon. Oh, you no. said cherries. Cherries. Oh, she won't share the bourbon. Cherries. Any you got any cherry things here? Only uh no. I don't. What do we have? Nothing. Kahlua? No. Um What do you got? Passion fruit. Uh vanilla. Coconut, Flory, Coconut? Sambuco. Where? That's cranberries. What is that, Coconut? <coughs> yeah. That's Sambuco. That's a, cho that's a chocolate. Oh, I thought you said Coconut. I thought I did. Okay. What do we got over here? Those uh, are all oh, flip colors. extracts. Okay. Here's Coconut, natural Coconut. <laughs> I don't know the age of it. What? Not I don't bad. Know the age of it. You don't know what? The age of it. It's supposed oh. to be refrigerated. Oh, that it's been out really? there for three years. It doesn't say that, does it? Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll let it go. Okay. Okay, we'll let it go. Why is this on? I'm rinsing. Done? Yeah. Okay, we'll leave that. All right, so this is the last flavor of the day. Uh, if you learned anything, I hope you learned the simplicity of all this. You know, when I say I never made it before, I never made it before. How many brownies to use? I don't know how many brownies to use. We'll taste it now. If it's not chocolatey enough, we got these to go. Hey Andy, I'll be through. Oh boy, that's good. What? <laughs> what? We could add a little more though. Yeah. Like one of these. Where were those chips he stole away from me? He took them back? Hey, remove that stuff. Let me know if he's coming. Did 
destroy the evidence. <laughs> Bury it deep. I don't know. Now taste it again. <laughs> something okay whoa good thing it was the end of the day whoa whoa look at how that broke ah, that won't do it I'll get a mop Better than a mop, too. get somebody. <laughs> yeah, I will. Huh? Uh, it's fun, and you're owning your own store is fun, too. If you can call Andy with a mop. You're getting the machine today. It's already loaded. Okay. Okay. What are you going to make tonight? Oh, you don't have I a 220. You need a 220. 75 hours. Okay, let's see what we got. Now, this is cream ice, not ice cream. Now, the mix we put in was white. How about that? And we did add a little... Uh, And I was the one who moved the shelf. I just put in a smidge of this Tarani raspberry. Chocolate and raspberry go well together. What's don't, that? Don't even look. Okay. So, any questions about anything? <laughs> it cracks me up. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Welcome. You can stay here till the next quest. <laughs> uh, you're going to have some ices, right? Of course, why not? Why not? All right. All right, we're almost ready with cream ice. It's the cream ice show. We're getting there. The chips really make it. They do. Clean up aisle two. <laughs> I've just heard that. <laughs> no clean up on aisle one. <laughs> no, no clean up on aisle one. <laughs> yeah, and I guess who put the shelf on wrong? Me. <laughs> well, it's little. <laughs> that is a uh, the CB200. That's a uh, three-quart machine, and it produces three quarts of ice cream in 10 minutes, three quarts of Italian ice in 15 minutes. It's a one-speed machine. It's set to do super premium ice cream and gelato and uh, dairy-free. And uh, the only things it won't do that this one does is it won't do the low, low, low frozen custard, and it won't do 100% override. So if you're starting up an Italian ice business on a, a tight budget, that's a great machine for it. The resale on them is incredible. Like every machine we built, uh, if a used one did hit uh, eBay or somewhere like that, it doesn't last there more than an hour. Uh, but they'll leave it up. Everybody, this is Andy Shepard, United States Air Force, retired. I told you I cleaned up the mess. <laughs> Andy is USAF, retired, um, and uh, has worked a long time for us. Andy handles all the shipping. Uh, Andy's the one who crates up your machine and makes sure all the parts are in there. Uh, when you order a part order, Didn't he it goes come and in. deliver my machine? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And um, so... Anything to do with shipping, Andy knows it. 
and he's kind enough to step in here and help me out with this because I didn't wear the right clothes to do it. Are we ready? Uh, <laughs> ready? Yeah, ready. I always wait for the compressor to shut before I take it out. There we go. Stand so that the folks can see it. There we go. Oh, that looks nice. Very nice. What are those dark things in there? What'd you put in? I don't know. Well, you're the one who made it. I don't know. Oh, it's the brownies. Oh, of course. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Silly Aisle me. two. Silly me. <laughs> the brownies. Uh, no. It's easier to wash it. <laughs> Uh, what did you say that 350 does in quarts per hour? Nine gallons an hour. Nine gallons. Yeah, on ice cream. On ices, because it's a higher sugar content, the freezing time's longer, so it might be closer to uh, six gallons an hour. Thank you very much. Appreciate everything. Oh, thank you. We're going to give a tour of the building if anyone wants it. You can try this. No alcohol. Yeah, here. I will. I'm going to give one to Andy. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. I stole right. it. Andy. Yes, sir. Take a break. Cream ice. Thank you. Huh? Gift. Oh, okay. oh you got to have this. The, the difference oh, between a gift and bribery is the amount. That's true. Thank you. <laughs> if, if it was a bribe, it would be higher. It would be a court. Yes. Oh, uh, you'd have to ask uh, Christy over there. Christy, you got a second? Same guy. Same guy. You lost know about the rainbow maker, the price? You can get 16 tubs in it. With the square containers, you can get 20. So, I also like these. What's that? I also like these for wholesale. They're inexpensive gelato supply. Oh, okay. At six quarts, the capacity of this. And as you can see from a round tub, it's taking up a lot of space. In the, in the space that that tub takes up, uh, I can stack one, two, three, four of these uh, fairly the, close. What's the volume of the smaller box? A gallon or two gallon? The box, the wooden, the, uh, the cardboard in the middle. Uh, the lid on it. I don't know. It looks like it's two and a half gallon. Okay. It's deceptive. So they're good for wholesale because no chef is going to give you back your containers. Of course, right. Okay. People don't realize that. They think, oh no, they're going to wash them and give them out. And, and, and the idea that I have of putting it into the gelato pans is because rents are going up uh, on everywhere. And so if, a, if, a, if you're a restaurateur and you're opening up a new restaurant, and the rent's really high, the old expression, the money's made at the tables, not the kitchen. If you can have this many tables in your restaurant and a small, small kitchen, you're making a lot more money than if you eliminate this line of tables and give me a bigger kitchen. The chef wants a bigger kitchen, but what he's really going to get is the smallest one humanly possible because that's where the money is. He's turning over the tables. So in his freezer, now you've taken him down from a walk into a a region, if he can get four or six, four tubs in the space of one three gallon container, uh, he can carry more flavors um, in his store and he's not locked into, I've got to get rid of three gallons of uh, that guy's uh, pickle ice cream. <laughs> you know, I can have four flavors instead of uh, just one. Yeah, they do. And, you know, the gelaterias use the stainless steel pans. I don't even bother with them. As I've worked today, I've just used these. And they have plastic lids for them. Or you could just put saran wrap over it. And you just pitch it when you're done? when you're done? You should. I, I reuse them three or four times, at least. But for a restaurant, yeah, they're going to pitch it. 
Uh, but they're nice and they're not that expensive. The shipping. Yeah. What do you want? A lid? My best is a raspberry The raspberry did it, right? Yeah, meat. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, chip. Chips. chips. Yeah. That was good, wasn't it? Cream ice. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Cream ice is the future. No, I hope with that. Okay. Jeff, thank you very much. Take Steve, enjoy, beer. man. Send me pictures of that no stuff coming B, out. No, no plan, plan B. B. No plan B. You don't need it. Hell no. Money. Is you're just gonna make. But don't let money be the boss. Huh? Don't let money be the boss. No. It's all okay. about product, having a good time. That's it. Having a good time. And growing the business. That's it. Forget the money. Really the money will come. A little slow, but I'm really friendly. The money will come. Take care. Take care.